Welcome back to No Filter MMA, guys. This is your boy BJ back with another round by round per request from my boy Combo Breaker 99. What's going on, people? I got Lolita in the building. Colossum is in the building. Combo Breaker 99 is in the building. Let me see here. Who is at the top? The great benefactor is in the building. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
Let's go. Everybody get Aaron Blanchfield versus J.J. Aldridge pulled up on your device. Get it pulled up because we are about to break this fight down. You know, Combo Breaker wanted to see this fight broke down, so we're going to break this fight down. No commentary. I'm not playing any volume whatsoever. Mm -mm. Definitely not. No commentary. The commentary can persuade you, man. Let me get mine pulled up, Aaron. Blanchfield versus J.J. Aldridge. We're going to do this. I'm hoping Combo, I'm hoping Combo Breaker does a couple Manon fights on his channel so that we can have like a, a full circle of round by rounds leading up to this fight. You know what I'm saying? Two of two of Manon's best uh, performances. You know what I'm saying? Like I ho I'm hoping that's what Combo Breaker ninety nine is aiming for here. Hopefully he does. You know a couple round by rounds on Manon. But let's see. Since he requested, since he requested these for me, Combo, I'm requesting you do Manon Fior versus. I want to see you do Manon Fior versus Catlin Chukajian. And Manon Fior versus Maida Bueno Silva. That's what I want to see you do. I want to see you do Fior versus Bueno Silva. Yeah, Fior versus Bueno Silva and Fior versus Catlin Chukaji. Yeah, that's 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 my request for for Combo Breaker this week. But well, all right, yeah, he said okay, okay, bet. Okay, Marcus Bell in the building, low leader in the building. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get the hey. He dropped that, drop that. Uh, let's see. What's up? Put drop that fire emoji when y'all got the fight pulled up. Cause we gonna jump into this. Whenever you got Tyler uh, James Perez in the building, uh, if you when you got Tyler Santo, I mean when you got JJ Aldridge versus Aaron Blanchfield pulled up, hit the hit the fire. Put the fire emoji in the chat so I know that we you know. Once I got three or four people ready to go, we ready to go. We rocking and rolling. We rocking and rolling. Let me know when you're ready to go. Let me know when you're ready. James Prince, somebody said Prince Chico. <laughs> don't do, don't do it like that. James is a fan. James is a fan. You know, it is what it is. I'm requesting you and Combo Live and versus Manon this Saturday. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, Kalos. No, because me and Combo, we tried that before, man. But Combo, his stream be like five seconds ahead of mine, and he be calling it. Like he be like, "Oh," and then I see it. I'm like, "Oh, I'm expecting something. I can't do it." He said, "I throw in the Liam McCourt VJ." Ooh, hey, hey, hey! I'm only requesting two. So if you want, hey, if you want to use that as one of the two, I'm cool with that too. All right, Combo is ready. Combo dropped the fire emoji. That man is ready. <laughs> All right, y'all, looking for fire emoji. Fire emoji. People that's ready. Fire emojis. Will own. That's the only thing that will let me know when y'all are ready. Colostrum, fire emoji. That dude is ready. <laughs> that dude is ready. Okay, Colostrum. Fire emojis only, guys. When you are when you've got JJ Aldrich versus Aaron Blanchfield pulled up. Fire emojis only. Let's go. I know y'all seen that little that little quote from Aaron Blanchfield. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that. We ain't gonna talk about that tonight. We ain't gonna talk about that tonight. But somebody, somebody about to get granted the new duck symbol. And I hate to do it. I hate to do it. Somebody about somebody about it's it's time it's time it's time to call a duck for a duck. You know, we gotta call a duck for a duck. JJ Aldrich versus Aaron Blanchfield first. Drop the fire emojis when you're ready, guys. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, combo. <laughs> Okay, y'all see Combo trying to be, oh, not the duck emoji. Oh, no. Is Macy Barber a duck? <laughs> Is Macy a duck? 
Macy the Ducker Barber. Oh, no, not a two-time duck. Not a two-time duck, Macy. Oh, not a two-time duck. And Blanchfield dropped it down. T, James, are you got the fight pulled up? Are you ready? Marcus Bell, are you ready? I don't see no fire emojis. Lolita, are you ready? Great Benefactor, are you ready? I need to see them fire emojis when y'all ready to watch this fight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let me know y'all ready. Let me. Yeah, okay. The hardcores are ready. Okay, bet. Bet. I bet. Okay, Lolita said I'm red eye. Okay. Okay, well, shit, we about to get this thing started. James, what you talking? What you mean, James? What you mean? Fighters, are you a Marcus Bell? Fire emoji. He's ready. Marcus Bell is ready. Okay. Now, damn, I got to get mine pulled up. <laughs> All right. All right, we ain't started yet. JJ one inch taller, half a pound heavier, uh, inch and a half in reach. Okay. They showing the tail of the tape. Joe Martinez, my favorite, the GOAT. The GOAT, Joe Martinez. <laughs> okay, Aaron. okay, Aaron looks ready, man. She looks ready. JJ looks ready. JJ at this point was 11 and 4. It's a solid record. That's a solid record. For to be in the and to be in the UFC as long as JJ's been in the UFC, like, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Camera on Aaron Blanchfield. God, Aaron's arms are long, man. That's crazy how her, her, her arms are long like that. Yeah, her arms are long, man. That's crazy. Chris Taglioni was the referee. All right, let's see what happened. Round one. All right, ring girl. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh no, mine is tripping. I ain't got to the first round yet. All right, wait a minute. All right, fighters are about to. All right, we touching gloves. Let's go. Well, they didn't touch gloves, but okay. Aaron Blanchfield starts off with that low kick to the lead leg. Opposite stances. And Blanchfield. Oh, nice straight down the pipe and hit to a head kick from J.J. Aldridge. Knocks Aaron Blanchfield. Knocks Aaron Blanchfield off balance. Aaron Blanchfield putting that pressure on one two from Blanchfield. She gets hit with the left from JJ Aldridge. Nice jab from JJ Aldridge. Oh, nice straight from JJ Aldridge. JJ putting that jab out there. Faint, heavy fainting on Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, Aaron Blanchfield crashes in. Right hand knee up the middle. Blanchfield was staying on that lead leg kick this this fight. Oh, nice uh nice uh one two kick to the body from Aaron Blanchfield crashed in closed the distance. But JJ Aldridge being savvy grabs that underhook, pins Aaron Blanchfield to the cage. Now we back at space. Now we're back at space. Same stance, you know, the opposite stances for both still. Aaron Blanchfield putting that pressure. Good nice body kick. Straight left hand from J.J. Aldridge. Stopping Aaron from trying to close it. Aaron putting a lot of pressure on J.J. right here, though. Nice kick to the body. They just kind of, you know, missing some shots in there. They're missing some shots. but they Oh, nice jab by, by J.J. Aldridge. Snap Aaron Blanchfield's head back. Look at Aaron. Just, just pressure, man. Nice little combo by Aaron. Nice little angle by Aaron, too. Oh, nice one-two by J.J. Aldridge. Oh, nice head kick by Aaron Blanchfield. 
JJ catches the leg. Aaron's on one leg. Aaron reverses it, gets the underhook, starts putting pressure against the cage on J.J. Aldridge, okay? See, I think J.J. kind of messed up here by kept inviting that clinch. Now you got Aaron Blanchfield lacing the leg, dropping the level, you know what I'm saying, trying to get getting down to the single leg. J.J. trying to defend the single leg. Aaron trying to hike it up. Aaron trying to get her down. Nice knees to the inside of the leg by Aaron Blanchfield. I'm going to stop this after every round. Go back to the comments, guys. Let's see here. Aaron Blanchfield working. JJ splits off from the cage. Back at range. We're back at range here. Aaron threatening with those kicks. I think this stance kind of messed up Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, nice one-two by JJ. Nice jab by JJ as Aaron came uh, came in to close the distance. Caught her stiff with that jab. Nice little check hook by oh nice another check hook by JJ Aldridge. Uh oh, he stopped it. Okay, yeah, the heads. Okay, you gotta be careful, man. They, it's the stance they're in. Oh, J.J. Aldridge tries to get a takedown on Aaron Blanchfield. Has Aaron against the cage. J.J. laces the leg. J.J. Aldridge takes Aaron Blanchfield down. Wow, I forgot about that. Aaron rolls, you know, jujitsu. She's going to start rolling. J.J. lets her up, fires a head kick. Aaron blocks it. Oh, nice jab by J.J. Aldridge. Nice straight left by J.J. Dude, she was really touching Aaron up, man. She was really touching Aaron. Nice one-two by J.J. Aldridge, straight down the pipe. See, this is what a nice jab by Aaron as she shoots in for the tape play. I mean, nice jab by J.J. as Aaron shoots in. See, this is what Aaron has to be careful, man. Like, the way Aaron, the way J.J.'s touching her, oh, Aaron trying to drag J.J. to the ground. J.J. stuffs it. Oh, nice one-two by J.J. Aldridge. Oh, my goodness. Aaron Blanchfield, still patient, still diligent in there. You know, still hunting. She's still hunting. Keeping her hands up. Using some feints. Oh, nice kick to the body by Aaron Blanchfield. Superman, Superwoman punch attempt by Aaron Blanchfield. Missed, though. Back to that lead leg kick for Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, nice, nice check hook by J.J. Aldridge. Nice straight by J.J. and then into a jab. Still tons of pressure from J.J. from uh, Aaron Blanchfield. All right, let's end that round. That round is over. So let's talk about what we just watched. Let's talk about what we just watched, man. I mean. If you're looking at that round, that first round goes to J.J. Aldridge. That's 10-9 J.J. Aldridge, you know. And that's, that's I mean, that's 10-9 J.J. Aldridge, man. All the way, J.J. Aldridge won that round. Um, That was a good round by J.J. Aldridge. But I have to give him, I have to give Aaron credit because she never stopped putting on the pressure. She never stopped trying to close the distance. She never stopped trying to hit. J.J. Aldridge or nothing, man. Like, it was, it was, you know, it, it was constant pressure. But, you know, the defense thing that we were talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, Aaron Blanchfield with the, Aaron Blanchfield with the defense, you know, she was getting touched up a lot, man. She, 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 get, she was getting touched up a lot. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, Manone touching her. That's what I'm worried about. You know what I'm saying? I'm into the first round. You know, I'm sorry, Cumbo. I didn't see it. I didn't see that. Uh. That check hook was nice. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, man. That check hook from J.J. Aldridge was money on Aaron Blanchfield. You know, Aaron just, she just didn't, I don't know, man. She looked very, I don't know, man. She just didn't, her strike, she didn't, the, the stance, J.J. Aldridge's stance, like, she always fucks girls up with the stance. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had, that's like, that's like a, a huge key to, um, uh, uh, Aaron Blanchfield, I mean, to J.J. Aldridge is that 
check book. Okay, round two, guys. That southpaw stance. All right, guys. So we are my time stamp right now is once they get that thing off the screen there, it'll show me a time stamp. Let's see. Round two. I'm at four minutes and forty eight seconds. Nice head kick. Oh, look at Aaron Blanchfield throwing the combinations together. Trying to get oh Aaron Blanchfield spinning elbow. JJ Aldridge knee up the middle. 438, 437, 436. J.J. Aldridge kicked to the body. Aaron Blanchfield crashes in with the one-two knee hook. Okay, Aaron Blanchfield. J.J. Aldridge just head body, man. See, every time Aaron Blanchfield comes in the distance, man, J.J. just touches him. Every single time. You see the real, you see the redness on Aaron Blanchfield's face, man. Like she got. Touched up a lot. My stream is acting up. All right, I'm at four minutes and three seconds. Nice jab by Aaron Blanchfield. Nice kick to the body. Oh, nice one, nice two one by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, nice one two by JJ Aldridge. Nice two one again by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, now Blanchfield making it dirty here, but she just still looks a little confused on the feet, like the way she's coming in distance here, like she. Oh, nice one-two by J.J. Aldridge. Nice one-two by Aaron. And J.J. goes in, tries to get takedown. Gets another takedown on Aaron Blanchfield. Okay, Aaron Blanchfield back st standing, uh, back against the cage. J.J. Aldridge, good head position. J.J. was dominating Aaron in this fight. Like, I'm just being real. She was dominating Aaron. That's so unfortunate for J.J., man. Nice wizard. Kick there by uh, Aaron Blanchfield to try to reverse the takedown. J.J. Aldrich, too savvy, man. Aaron breaks away, back at range. Nice check hook by J.J. Aldrich. Like Aaron's just kind of crashing in, man. Like, I don't know what. Oh, nice. Another check hook by J.J. Aldrich. Oh, nice. Uh. Nice um, right hand by, oh, Aaron Blanchfield kicks her and knocks her down, kicks her to the body and knocks her down. All right, JJ's getting back up. Aaron Blanchfield pu pushes her against the cage and locks in that high elbow guillotine. And JJ Aldrich, oh, it's it's over. That high tap, JJ Aldrich tap. JJ Aldrich, God, man, that that's unfortunate, man. Aaron Blanchfield had a push kick to the body that threw JJ Aldrich off balance. Push kick to the body. Think about that, y'all. A fucking push kick to the body knocks Aaron Blanchfield. I mean, knocks J.J. Aldridge off of balance, and her head goes. I mean, Aaron Blanchfield grabs her neck, puts her in a high elbow guillotine. Watch this push kick. It was a knee. Okay. J.J. tries to get up. Aaron Blanchfield jumps on her neck and locks up a high elbow guillotine. Wow. Okay. So that's the end of that fight. You know what I'm saying? That's the end of that fight. You know, and I must say, man, you know, I must say, Aaron Blanchfield was losing that fight until she wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, Aaron Blanchfield was losing that fight until she wasn't. It's as simple as that. Like, that's just, a, that's just as simple as that. Like, Aaron Blanchfield was losing convincingly to J.J. Aldridge. See, that's what, like, that's another thing, too. Like, if, if Manon employs that kind of that same strategy, that JJ was important because you know you can in this this fight just revealed to me that you can dominate, you can hold Aaron Blanchfield, you can take Aaron Blanchfield down if you put pressure on Aaron Blanchfield. What did we learn from this fight, guys? What did JJ Aldridge do? Good footwork, stand mobile, stand agile away from Aaron Blanchfield's punches. You know what I'm saying? Mixing it up, keeping a jab in Aaron Blanchfield's face, pressing Aaron Blanchfield up against the cage. You know what I'm saying? And you, you can press, you can hold Aaron Blanchfield against the cage and you can take Aaron Blanchfield down. You can take, you can take Aaron Blanchfield down. What's up, Easy E? Easy E, we're getting ready to watch Tyler Santos versus Aaron Blanchfield. So get it queued up, bro. That's crazy. Six says if Manon can keep Rose at distance, Aaron will be easy work. You know, I'm just saying, man. You know, Aaron struggles there. So, you know, she struggles with a fighter that fights long. Clearly, man. 
Like, if you don't fight long, if you fight short with hooks and stuff, the way that Tyler and the way that Jessica Andrade was striking, uh, okay, you might, you know, Aaron Blanchfield might can get in there and beat you up. But if you fight long, man, like, that's kind of a problem for Aaron Blanchfield. Damn, it was two years ago already. Yeah, I know, Colosha. You know, but JJ, JJ did a good job of taking her down. Though, you know what I'm saying? She couldn't hold her down. You know what I'm saying? But she was able to take her down. She was able to hold Aaron Blanchfield against the cage, man. And she was able to outstrike Blanchfield convincingly in that fight. You know, so things like that, that worries me. I'm glad Combo pointed out this fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that worries me. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, so we're going to move on to uh, uh closest I think Aaron will try to fight, but no, just like she fought Tyler, just clinch her against the cage. Okay, so let's see how Aaron, let's see Aaron in a fight where she is winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see Aaron in a fight where she's dominating. So we're going to do Tyler Santos and Blanchfield. Versus Tyler Santos. Tyler. Tyler Santos. Okay. So I ain't gonna press I ain't gonna press start yet on that one. I'm gonna wait till everybody's ready to go on this one because this is a little longer for us. Oh, I got your combo. Oh, I know. I feel you easy. Yeah, they take time to update for sure. They definitely take time to update. Fire emojis when you're ready, guys. Fire emojis when you are ready. Aaron didn't dominate the first round with Tyler. She lost the first round convincingly. Okay, well, we're getting ready to see. And see, that's places like places like that. That's where Manone has to capitalize, man. You know, because if you let Aaron Blasfield get in a room, that's where you fuck up that. So if you guys just joining in, I see there's 10 of y'all in here. I see that there's 10 of y'all in here. Go ahead and get Tyler Santos versus Aaron Blasfield queued up. However you watch the fight, get it queued up. <laughs> Get it queued up. Let's go. Fire emojis when you guys are ready to go. Fire emojis when you are ready. Fire emojis when you are ready. Let's go. Combo say he is ready. Tyler Santos versus Aaron Blanchfield. Guys, let me know when you're ready. Marcus Bell is ready. Okay, BJ, let us know when we about when you're about to press start. We on. Okay, so I'm gonna give y'all a 10 second countdown to when they touch gloves. Okay. Cause the website I use, ooh, it's terrible. Okay, so I'll tell y'all what's on my screen right now. All right, they get ready to put the tail of the tape up. All right, tail of the tape. Tyler Santos, 30. Aaron Blanchfield, 24. 5-4 versus 5-6. 125-and-a-half versus 124-and-a-half. 66-inch versus 68-inch reach. Damn, so Tyler Santos was lighter than Aaron Blanchfield. All right, we got Joe Martinez again introducing uh, <laughs> the, another Aaron Blanchfield fight. All right, camera on Tyler Santos. Camera on Tyler Santos. <clears throat> it ain't started yet. He introducing him. He introducing him. It ain't the fight ain't started yet. <laughs> Let's see here, so y'all can see where I'm at.
We're going to stop it after every round and talk. <clears throat> He said he introduced them as bantamweights. Come on, man. They flyweights. Come on, man. They flyweights, bro. All right. The referee stepping in the middle. The ring girl <clears throat> is walking around the ring. All right. Top fighters going to the middle. All right. We got a fight. Round one. 456, 455, 454, 453. All right, leg kick by Tyler Santos. Jab leg kick by Aaron Blanchfield. Pressure by Aaron Blanchfield. Combination thrown by Tyler but miss. Aaron Blanchfield throwing that jab out there. Nice leg kick by Tyler Santos. That one hurt Aaron Blanchfield. That one hurt her. <clears throat> nice one-two by Tyler Santos. Oh, nice right hand by Tyler Santos. Oh, nice left hand by Tyler to the leg kick. Oh, nice hooks by Tyler. Aaron Blanchfield shoots for the takedown. <laughs> Stuffed by Tyler Santos. Stopped by Tyler before it even started. Nice jab by Aaron Blanchfield, though. Oh, one-two by Aaron as she goes for the kick. Oh, Tyler Santos unleashing on Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, one two by Tyler Santos. I think I meant to. I think I said Aaron Blanchfield by accident. Nice jab by Aaron. Oh, nice jab by Tyler Santos. Oh, good leg kick by Tyler Santos drops Aaron Blanchfield. The nose of Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, nice right hand by Aaron Blanchfield. The nose of Aaron Blanchfield is busted. Aaron still coming forward with the jab. Though. Oh, nice one-two by Aaron. Counter by a big right hand by Tyler Santos, though. That was a nice one-two from Aaron Blanchfield, though, I have to say. Nice another jab from Tyler Santos. Aaron goes for the takedown. Aaron, there we go. Aaron against the cage, brawling with Tyler Santos. I love it. That's how you close the distance. That's what she's going to have to do. Came back in came back in with a strong Aaron Blanchfield brawling Tyler Santos against the cage. That's how you get that that's how you get that clinch. Body and Tyler up. Got the bigger fighter against the cage. She clipped Tyler right there, man. I wish I could go back, but I'm not. She clipped Tyler right there, though. She did, but Aaron been, been beat up, right? She been beat up to this point, though. Aaron Blanchfield got that head position. Lacing up the legs. Aaron Blanchfield trying to be strong in there. Foot stomp. Nice elbow by Tyler Santos. Aaron Blanch uh, Tyler throwing a big shot. Aaron trying to grab that, you know, trying to grab her up again. Oh, nice knee to the right hand by Tyler Santos. Nice jab by Tyler. Oh, nice head kick by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh. Aaron Blanchfield takes Tyler down. Tyler stays with it, though. Aaron Blanchfield, let's go to takedown. Okay. Stuffed by Tyler Santos. Wasn't going to be easy to take Tyler down. Aaron is wearing it right now. Aaron is wearing it right now. Nice jab by Aaron. Leg kick by Tyler. Oh, nice one-two by Aaron. And answer with a big counter right hand by Tyler. Tyler starting to put a little pressure on Aaron, maybe. Nice jab by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, nice kick to the body by Aaron Blanchfield. She was in there. Nice jab by Aaron. Counter right hand grazes the nose of Aaron Blanchfield from Tyler. Oh, big right hand by Tyler as Aaron comes in to close the distance. Tyler muscles Aaron to the cage. They reverse and they jockeying right here, man, for position. Aaron trying to drag her to the ground. 
not working. Aaron trying to drag her. Whew, what a scrap. Aaron got that underhook, though. Nice knees to the body by Aaron Blanchfield. Tyler Santos trying to get off the cage. Pushing on the head of Aaron. Aaron got that head dug into the neck of Tyler. Tyler reverses it. First round is done. Woo-wee. <laughs> Let me go to the comments. First round is over. Boy. 10-9 Tyler Santos. 10-9 Tyler Santos. Wow. Aaron Blanchfield was wearing it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. See, this that's what's scary, man. That's what's that's the scary part about that's the scary part about, you know, Aaron Blanchfield. You know what I'm saying? Is that she just she gets hit. Like her face get marked up damn near every fight. You know what I'm saying? She takes a lot of shots in there, man. She takes a lot of shots in there. All right, you boys ready for round two? Y'all ready for round two? Let's get it. Let me see here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, wow. That's a clear 10-9 from Tyler Santos. I mean, choo. Let me go. Let me go to round two. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. Mm. Hold on. <clears throat> Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. All right, y'all. About to start round two. All right. They getting ready to touch gloves. They just got the camera on Aaron. They ain't touched gloves yet. Wait a minute. All right. We're coming to the center to touch gloves, even though they didn't touch. Nice low kick by Tyler. Oh, nice one-two by Tyler. Backs Aaron up. Aaron was getting touched up. Nice jab by Tyler. And you know, Aaron had to start trying to change levels, man. Oh, another hard jab by Tyler Santos. Oh, nice jab by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, my goodness. Hard low kick by Tyler. Nice jab by Tyler Santos. Oh, oh, Tyler. I mean, Aaron Blanchfield comes in with the combination. Tries to take Tyler down. Tyler stuffs the takedown. Aaron's still driving with it. Still driving through. Got Tyler against the cage. Aaron trying to lock up that single leg and drag and turn the corner. Nice pressure on the cage by Aaron Blanchfield, man. Good pressure on the cage by Aaron. She's trying to get Tyler to the ground, man. She she working for it. Aaron's working for it. But Tyler, you know, I don't know. Tyler just a good of a grappler, man. You know, she ain't going to, it's not going to be that easy to take Tyler down. Nice punches in the clinch from Aaron Blanchfield. She's got Tyler pressed up here. Good knees to the body, head pressure. Holding, holding Tyler down against the cage. Good work from Aaron Blanchfield, man. Good. This is good. This is good work. This is fight IQ right here. Closing the distance, keeping it close, wearing on Tyler Santos because she just can't beat Tyler at range, man. You know, it just you know, and it, and, and and kudos to Aaron Blanchfield for seeing that that wasn't working. You know, because she was almost get, she was Aaron Blanchfield would have probably was getting close to getting. To being dropped or something, or being, you know what I'm saying, like really being hurt. You know, she was getting close because Tyler was hitting her hard, man. Like Aaron working, trying to get Tyler to the ground hard, bro. But Aaron's, Aaron's cardio is to put to fight this kind of fight, man. That's a different kind of cardio, man. Good Tyler. 
trying to drag Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, Tyler messes up. Aaron Blanchfield lands on top. That was good work from Tyler Santos, though. That was good work from Tyler. Messes up the same way Valentina. The way, the way Valentina messed up was the same way Tyler just messed up. <laughs> the way Valentina messed up against Tyler. That's crazy. And Blanchfield looked big on top. She got Tyler down. Tyler on her back. And Blanchfield being heavy. Tyler trying to work, trying to swivel. Trying to get that angle for that arm bar. Tyler Santos working. Aaron Blanchfield turning her hips. Tyler trying to get that angle turned. Aaron got a lot down at this 50 50 position here. And really is just positionally dominating Tyler here. Oh, Tyler gives up her back. Aaron trying to sink in the hooks. Tyler getting small down there. Tyler getting small. Tyler explodes up. Tyler gets to her feet. Oh, okay, we back against the cage. Aaron Blanchfield still applying that pressure, though. Two good clinch fighters, man. Two good grapplers here. I love this. Aaron drops a level. Laces up the leg. Tyler sees it coming. Good knees to the body from Aaron. Wearing on Tyler. And Tyler, Aaron, don't want to be at range at all. You, moment of separation. Aaron goes right back to the clinch work, man. Didn't want to be at a high end of round two. Aaron didn't want to be there at all with Tyler. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it, man. She was getting touched up. So she don't want to be there at all. So not only was Tyler Santos touching Aaron in round one, she was touching Aaron in round two at the beginning, too. You know, so... Yes, yes, Combo. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. What scares me for Asia? What's up, Asia? Hit that subscribe button. Asia says, what scares me for Aaron is how long Manon is going to keep it at range with her angles and counter shots. Even if, even when they clinch up, I think Manon is going to be ready for her. I know, man. Like, looking back at these fights, you know, looking back at these fights, Aaron will beat most flyways with her pressure and grappling, but I think Kareem might catch her in a sub. Uh-oh. Tyler's low kicks were solid. Aaron has a hard and grit to be chance. She just needs to improve her defense. Yeah. Aaron got that Marab cardio. <laughs> yeah, man. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Those are good trips and stuff in the those are good trips and stuff. You know what I'm saying? In the clinch. That's a this is a good clinch fight. Very underrated clinch fight. Let me see here, guys. Let's see. Um, let's see. All right, so let's go on to the third round, guys. Let's go ahead and get the third round queued up. Let's see here. Part two. Is this a five-round or three-round fight? I can't remember. I cannot remember. All right. Back in range for round three, Aaron Blanchfield grappling. All right, we in round three. Oh, nice jab from Tyler. Nice head, uh, head kick by Aaron Blanchfield. One, two by Tyler Santos. Aaron goes for the level change again. She just didn't want to be there, man. She's getting hit again. Getting hit again. Oh. 
Tyler almost had an end down. Almost had it. Oh, nice elbow by Tyler Santos on the exit. Kick to the body by Tyler Santos. Nice solid. Oh, nice one two by Aaron Blanchfield. Tyler looking tired. Low kick by Tyler Santos. Good jab by Tyler. Jab by Tyler. Nice elbow by Aaron Blanchfield. Jab again by Tyler, though. Oh, knee up to the body by Tyler. Oh, nice right hand by Aaron Blanchfield into the clinch. Aaron Blanchfield drops levels fast this time. Tyler Santos stuffs it. Tyler framing Aaron off hard, too. Framing her off hard. Aaron tries to drop for a takedown. Try to level change. Tyler hits her with an elbow. Gets digs the underhooks to get Aaron Blanchfield off of this single leg. Aaron is wanting this. She's wanting this takedown real bad. She wants this takedown real bad. Aaron Blanchfield again drops down. These are wrestling takedowns from Aaron Blanchfield. Somebody said Aaron didn't have wrestling. Tyler stuffs it again. Oh, but boy, they are strong, man. These two girls are strong because, man. What a grueling fight. Like, Aaron Blanchfield made this fight ugly. Oh, nice elbow by Tyler. Nice elbow by Aaron. <clears throat> nice leg kick by Tyler. Right hand by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, Tyler. I mean, Aaron Blanchfield sh shoots levels again. Aaron Blanchfield big in there, too. She worked for these. She working for this takedown, man. I don't think she ever got it, but you can't say Aaron wasn't working for it. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Look at this physical strength here. Tyler trying to drag her down. She trying to drag Aaron down. She trying to drag. Oh. Tyler, oh, nice elbow by Tyler Santos. Tyler swinging wild and tired. Aaron Blanchfield starting to land. Oh, nice jab by Aaron. Nice one-two by Aaron. She's starting to land. Just constant pressure by Aaron. Goes for the takedown again. Loses that one. Presses Tyler Santos against the cage again. Oh, nice exit with the punches and then right back to the single leg. Aaron Blanchfield, a lot better entry that time. Tries again to get Tyler down. Almost gets her down that time. Tyler gets right back up. Nice shots to the body, knees to the body by Aaron Blanchfield in the clinch. Nice elbow by Aaron Blanchfield. She gets the double, the double underhooks, which is good. Tyler Santos cuts a corner, just too strong, man. Nice punches by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh God, Tyler looks so tired. Nice jab by Aaron. Nice combinations by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, look at Aaron coming forward. Look at Aaron. Right hand by Tyler. Head kick by. Nice one two by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, nice right hand by Aaron Blanchfield. Tyler Santos wants to take Aaron Blanchfield down. Nice D up the middle by Aaron Blanchfield. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Oh, that round was that round was not going Tyler's way. Like that was that was a scrap. That was a scrap, yo. Aaron Blanchfield started. She she sensed that Tyler Santos. That's the thing, man. You can't you can't 
let it show, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't let it show against somebody like Aaron Blanchfield that you tired, man, because all the technique that Tyler Santos was fighting with before, it all kind of went out the window. You know, she was tired. You go from a black belt to a white belt when you're tired. And Aaron Blanchfield, you know what I'm saying, of course she's going to be staying the course. Aaron Blanchfield, with those same shots that she was winning and missing, you know, and getting countered, you know what I'm saying, she, those shots started landing. You know, so great technique to wear, great strategy to wear Tyler down. So the, the word I was looking for last night was cerebral. You know what I'm saying? I think that Aaron Blanchfield is a more cerebral fighter than Manon Fior because I think Aaron Blanchfield will, she always has a plan B. Her plan was to strike with Tyler Santos. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was her plan, but it became her plan. Striking with Tyler Santos, close the distance, wear her down, get her tired, and then put those paws on her, and that's exactly what she did. The cardio, yes, close to the pressure, no. Aaron's jab is solid, yes. Yes, yeah, Santos defended like hell in that fight. Yes. Tyler got that Yoana takedown, that, that, that Jose Aldo takedown defense. Yeah, yeah, six and eleven said Aaron is easy to hit. Yeah, Tisha Miller, hey, what's going on? Manon's jab gonna play a major part in her victory over Aaron. Oh my goodness, Manon about to be down rank. I'm sticking with Aaron. Manon is not her. <laughs> okay, Easy E, Easy E said Manon is not her. <laughs> Combo said drop the link, y'all. Oh no, Combo. Oh, no. Let's see, y'all. Let's see if I can make this work. Because my computer been tripping lately. Y'all know my computer been tripping. Close one has been on fault. They won't know. Cardio, yes, because she fought Catelyn Chukajian. Pressure, no. And she fought Jennifer Maya. So, cardio, yes. Pressure, no. Definitely not pressure. Yeah, Santos fatigued real bad, man. She fatigued real bad. Oh my God, that was the, that was a bad fatigue. <laughs> that was that was a bad like she fatigued real bad toward the end there, but, but she was still landing good shots. That's why Aaron Blanchfield kept going in for that takedown. You know what I'm saying? Aaron Blanchfield ain't getting touched. Aaron Blanchfield was getting touched up. Like I mean, it's simple as that. She was getting touched up. All right, guys. My, my, my stream yard is loading. Yeah, Manon does. Manon is very aware of where she can touch you at, too. She knows. All right, I'm about to drop this stream yard link. Combo, I got 10 minutes because your boy is hungry. see here. Interesting. Add the stage. Invite. Alright, come on. I'm about to drop the MA. SZ. SZ. Alright, come on. There it is, dog. There it is. Hop on in here. Ephraim, what's up, man? Oh, you good, Ephraim? We just finished the set. We just finished the round by rounds. <laughs> Combo got something to say. Combo got something to say, so we're going to see what this man got to say right quick. He said he at work. He's going to be quick, so we're going to see. And my stream yard is already acting crazy. Already. My stream yard already acting crazy. It's in the chat, Combo. It's in the chat. It's in the chat, Combo. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. It's 
is in the chat. Let's see. Let's see if Combo done joined in. Let's see if this dude done joined in, man. He playing with my emotions. Oh, try again. StreamYard, see, that's what I'm talking about. StreamYard, need to, they need to update it or something, because StreamYard be messing up, man. Hold on. <laughs> Trying to get it logged back in. Hold on. Yeah, Combo. Give me one second, man. StreamYard just... It does what it wants to do, bro. It literally does what it wants to do, bro. I'm, tell I'm, do I'm telling it to do this and it's doing that. Hold on, Combo. Man, I stream you, I'll be tripping, man. Stream you, I'll be tripping. It be tripping hard, man. It ain't my computer. It's definitely stream you, Okay, all right, so, all right, <laughs> we got Combo Breaking 99 in the building, man. What's going on, Combo? It's, it's probably going to mess up. Bro. Oh, oh yeah, can you, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. I told you, stream y'all be messing up, man, I told you. I told you. <laughs> Stream yard, man. I can't hear nothing he said. <laughs> uh oh, can you hear me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I can hear you now, yeah. What's up? Uh oh. Yeah, man. I don't know what's wrong with StreamYard, dude. It it's it's had not been working good for me lately. Oh, okay. All right, can I can hear you now? What's up, man? <laughs> StreamYard, StreamYard, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's not working. Uh oh. BJ on that dial up again. Cool. <laughs> no, man. It's StreamYard, bro. It ain't. No, it kicked, it kicked me out of StreamYard. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, let me try a different one, bro. <laughs> Come on, said that link was jacked up. Hold on, let me try it again. <laughs> Come on, said that link was jacked up. <laughs> it really was, bro. It really is. Hold on, let me try it again. Right, let me close this internet page. And let me open another one. Let me just close that one. And open another one. Let's see if it does anything better now. Let's see if it works better. Okay, I think it's working. Man. I think it's working. Let me try. All right. 
doing something here. It's acting like it's trying to do something here, man. Ah, right. he's still in that combo. Uh oh. All right, combo. Try to hop back in there and see what it does, bro. Because this is just, I don't know. We'll try one more time, dude. I don't know what's wrong with it. Try to hop back in there again. Shut up, Six. Talking about dial up. I think I need to update my internet, though. Update my internet bandwidth. I think I need to either unplug my router one because I ain't unplugged my router and plugged it back up in like over a year since I moved into my house two years ago. February 2022 is when I moved and it's March 2024 and I've never unhooked the router and hooked it back up ever. Yeah. Soon as combo come in, it start acting crazy. Like literally as soon as combo come in, it start acting crazy. What's up, Combo? Let's see if it worked, man. Can you hear me? It's doing it again. It's doing it again. Hold on, hold on. Well, let me see. Yeah, it is. Okay. What's up, man? Go ahead and say what you got to say. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Um. I got 10 minutes. All I wanted to say was, uh, yeah, watching both of them fights, there was a couple of surprising things. Well, one is um, I forgot, man, like how J.J. was able to take It's kicking you out, Combo. It's kicking you out, bro. It, it's done kicked him out, y'all. I'm sorry, Combo. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to unplug my router and do it again, and, and plug it back up and see if that fixes it, dude. But we got time. We got time to talk about this. We we got time to talk about it, man. I don't know why it's doing that. But yeah, maybe I do need to restart my router because I've never restarted my router ever. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, so long story short. Aaron's got a lot of stuff to be aware of in this fight, man. She does. And hopefully, like I said, when Combo Breaker 99 does his round-by-round round on the known this week, uh, just call him on his cell phone. I mean, we can talk through the phone. Let's see. Let me call him. Let me, Yeah, let me do this. Let me call this man right here. We can talk through here. Yeah, we can we can talk. <laughs> Y'all can hear him. Go ahead, combo. What was you saying, bro? You got to get that out, homie. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. Oh, that's much. Yeah, yeah, much better now. Oh, okay. I said um, two things surprised me in this fight. Um, the first one is how. Aldridge was able to take Aaron down a few times. I forgot, man, like how she got her down that that not easy, but well, it was kind of easy. Like, yeah, her takedowns were masked by her striking. Like, I don't think Aaron expected that, so that can always be a hell of a surprise for the known. So that surprised me how she got taken down in this fight with Aldridge. But um, the, the Santos fight, man, really su always surprises me on how gritty and ugly Aaron can make a fight, you know, yes. this is her cardio, it gets stronger and stronger, so that can definitely be a key in a Manon fight, but it, it's it's really going to have to be her being first with everything, because you can't have that type of cardio or catch shots from Manon all night either, like, because Manon's not, not going to have her head on the line like Tyler, but like, she's right. not going to exchange with her, like, when Manon's going to hit you, it's going to be like J.J. Aldridge, you know, right. with the right hook here with left hand and move, you know, she's going to be more of a moving target than both of them. So 
you know, Aaron's got to really be careful to, to avoid getting countered in this fight. Like, you know, your chin, yeah, her chin is really good, but, you know, she's going to be eating shots, man. Like, just looking at this fight, how many shots she ate in that Tyler <laughs> fight, I was like, that was scary. It was kind of yeah. scary. She took, I forgot she took that many, man. You yeah. Know, like, yeah, she took a lot of shots in that fight, bro. Like, she got hit clean, like. Tyler Santos busted her up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm worried about. Like, no, now if Tyler, I mean, if Aaron right out the gate, like, where's Manone down? You know what I'm saying? The first couple of rounds to where Manone is looking lethargic like Tyler Santos was, then yeah, absolutely. Put that pressure on, on Aaron on the, be on Manone on the feet. Come forward with that long jab. Like, land that jab. But man, I don't know about early on, bro. Like, Early on is scary, man, because early on in the fight, Aaron Blanchfield gets touched up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. And she can be taken down, too, man. And she can be muscled in the clinch. Like, whew. That's the thing. Like, I think Aaron is able to adapt to a fight, and she's well-rounded like that. But the thing that's scary about it is, you know, no one knows how to bag rounds and then maybe take rounds off which is kind of smart to get a victory. You know, Aaron can fight all five rounds, but what are you going to do if somebody bags rounds and then they're moving on you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Aaron never really, Aaron, like, I like her cardio. Her cardio is proven, but it's like Aaron is um, trying to fight hard for for however long the fight is. Like, I'm not really seeing, like, a pace there, which could be dangerous in this type of fight. You know, she could she could get not gas out, but she could just find herself fighting behind, or you know, she's doing a lot of chasing or getting frustrated. Like, I don't see Aaron ever like giving up in a fight, but I can see her getting frustrated more whenever she can't catch her target. Right. Whenever she's not being successful. Right. Yeah. Or if somebody's just moving and trying to get away from them. Like, I can see her being the type to try to get a little mad, like, oh, get why you would engage, but you know. It's, it's about knowing when you pace yourself in a fight. So, um, yeah, that JJ fight was a good one, though, man. That, that was a I good fight. JJ did that well, man. Well, JJ was on her way to a 30 27, man. Oh, man. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm just being, dude, I'm being, bro, she was, she won both of those rounds. Yeah. She was already 2018. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm, yeah, I mean? Like, mmm. JJ's technique was pretty in that fight. I forgot, like, like I knew her. I always knew she like technically sound, but like the things that she was doing in there was it was pretty. Like on the feet, like she was just catching Aaron every time she stepped in, mm-hmm. man. Every just time, snapping her head back, yeah, every single time. And you know, another thing too, man. Like you know, if you look at it, you know, Aaron's fault. People who throw a lot of hooks, like Tyler and 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 and, and uh, Jessica on drive. You know what I'm saying? But if you look at how if you look at how JJ was striking long, that's gonna be a problem for Aaron Blanchfield against Manon, bro. Like if Manon strikes long, she oh dude, like she 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 oh, bro. Like straight yeah, down cause... straight down the pipe on Aaron Blanchfield, she that's she's a target, bro. Yeah, yeah. Aaron's got long reach too, but um you you already seen Manon deal with Two people, two people with long reach, like Rose and Manon's reach is about the same, but like Rose is long, like Rose punch, punches long, she right. strikes long, right. and so does Chikagin. Chikagin's long kicks and long, long arms, so she's right. dealt with long reach fighters. So I think she's prepared for the long jab. Now that I watched this fight, I, I think she's prepared for long strikes. So um, yeah, man, Aaron, Aaron really got to Aaron got to protect her head in this fight, man. Um. The nose, man. I'm telling you, nose, man. She that wanted, she, yeah, she, she wanted them nosy girls. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. She wanted them nosy girls. You know what I'm saying? Them, that nose sticking out there, like you know, Ann Blasfield got a damn Roy McDonald nose. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So she's gonna have to be real careful, dude, because Manone, if Manone finds it, dude, if Manone finds Aaron. It, it, it's gonna be rough on Aaron Blanchfield. Like it's gonna be rough. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I gotta. I, uh, I, uh, I can't pick yet, man. I gotta see you break no, down. Stick with your pick, man. Stick with your pick. Aaron, your pick. I mean, you got good reason to pick Aaron. I'm not trying to persuade you because I still don't know, man. Because Aaron is 
Aaron's dog is. I tell you, look, when I saw the Tyler Santos fight just now, whenever you showing it, I said BJ was wrong, man. Aaron could beat Jennifer Mai. Aaron would beat Jennifer Mai when I saw that fight because I think Tyler Santos is more similar to Jennifer Mai when it comes to like just abandoning her weapons. So I think Aaron she could beat Jennifer Mai too. Man. Okay, okay. I, I see that. I see what you mean. Absolutely. Um, but the problem with the problem with Jennifer Maya is Jennifer Maya will touch Aaron Blanchfield up, and Jennifer Maya ain't gonna fade. That's true. That's true. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like she, she will touch you. Yeah, she will touch you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Jennifer Maya won't go. You know, and and Tyler Santos faded. Tyler could have kept her foot on the gas. She could have beat Aaron Blanchfield in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's true. Yeah, it's, it's, Jennifer Maya didn't fade as bad as Miss Valentina fight. Like, right. Better on face and stuff. Yeah. You know, so that's crazy, man. But I don't know, dude. Maybe when you do these round by rounds about you know Manon, I you know, and I and we can see, I can see the complete picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, then you know, fresh off of Aaron watching two Aaron fights and fresh off of watching two Manon fights. You know, maybe it'll be. More clear, you know, my choice might be more clear, or my choice might be more murky. You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you right now, my choice is murky. Like right now, my, mine being murky. Everybody, you know, <laughs> my, I already, I know what they both capable. Of. Everybody else is like, oh no, no, she, she gonna win this easy, or oh, Eric gonna win this easy because so and so do this. But I'm like, you put them together, you can't say, man. Like, yeah, you can't say. like it's not gonna be one sided. It's not gonna be one sided. Yeah, I don't think so either, man. I don't think it's gonna be one side. It's gonna be back and forth. It's gonna be. It's gonna. Be, I'm gonna say this. It's gonna be blood in this fight. I think it'll be blood. I it's think gonna, it'll be some blood. It's yeah. gonna be some blood in this fight, dude. It's gonna be some blood in this fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's, it might just come down to it. It might just come down to who wants it more. You know, they might yeah. they, they might damage each other up pretty bad in there. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna come yeah. down. It's gonna come down to the wire. You know what I'm saying? Whose cardio is whose cardio? Who's tech? Who can carry their technique through exhaustion, through fatigue? You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's well, that's what it's gonna come down to. I can see this fight late fourth round, bro. Just a dog fight. So we are gonna see, man. Like I got, I got to see these. I got to follow along these round by rounds with this, with, with whatever you gonna do, whatever day you gonna do your round by rounds on. So I can just, so I can see, bro. I got, it's crazy. This shit is crazy. Okay, yeah, right now, I'm probably looking to do a Wednesday night. Wednesday so, night, okay. I'm gonna get, if, if it changes, you know, I'll hit you up. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, couple, I'm going to close this thing down, bro. I appreciate you coming on and making your two cents. I'm going to jump in on yours, too, when you do yours. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, um, we we keep it on screen, y'all. I want to pull up IG real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, I'll holler at you. Later. Later, bro. There you have it, guys. The combo breaking I ain't now. But anyways, guys, I'm going to shut this thing down. Thanks for everybody that came in. Thanks for your two cents. I appreciate it, guys. Since we love said, Aaron walking out with a hematoma. Oh, my goodness. Win, lose, or draw, that's going to be a hematoma. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy, BJ. Drop those comments. Drop that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I see some new faces in here. And I'm out.